What is going on everyone? Commodore last here today bringing to you guys my live reaction of the Haiku Haifu season 4 to the top episode 6. Now the episode has finally come out. It's already 2.30. You know what we gotta do? We gotta sit in this chair. Get ready to read the greatness. It's been a glorious glorious day man uh, so far. One Piece has been hidden. I get my Haiku Haifu so we gotta do it man. Especially for what's about to come right now in the second half of the first core. Which I'm really looking forward to seeing like you know all this stuff from the manga being adapted here man. So Let's get into it, man. Look, we got the headphones finally back this time around. My Marty Glickman, Martin Tyler, Marvin Albert, don't matter who it is. Somebody with an M. And you switch that around and turn into a W because that's what we're doing right now. So, maximize the size here. Make sure this volume is good. So, starting up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop though. All right, 2, Three. We start off right away from what we saw last uh, episode. You could jump even higher. <sighs> Man. Show you a boy. Rolling Thunder. Suga san right here now, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, you guys better not have been funny as soon as you got back. I mean, last episode, <laughs> it was pretty funny to see the little thing. They're already fighting but I have to key over. That's way too fast. Well, I mean, that basically defines them, right? Gotta get them. How was the youth training camp? I mean, they gotta be happy, man. Like, you know, seeing what their guy has been able to go through. Me against like some of the top, top talent. The floor wasn't made out of wooden planks. I was available there. Those crazy good guys from over the right. I mean, some of those gods, man, they're there. Like, y'all don't have no idea. <laughs> he did it because he get arrested. I mean, happy as he should, but <laughs> does he plan to sneak into the Tokyo camp? I mean, look, my boy needs that knowledge, man. You have to give it to him at the very least. So, did you grow a little at your camp too, Sugishima? Yeah, I guess. Are you his aunt or something? You better not have grown taller in five days. Squad's finally all back together, man. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. If you stayed here, you'd be worthless on your own. And of course. <laughs> At least said it once. I love when these two go out of each other. And then you have like the two who are actually cool with each other with uh, Yamaguchi and Suki. Yachi is me, literally. When it comes to this, this adaptation, this is how I've been, man. All right, so the opening's going in. So I guess while the opening's playing, I just want to talk a little bit about something. Because uh, those of you guys who recently found out, uh, I think it was just, I want to say early as like Wednesday. But uh, we recently hit 5k on the channel, man. Uh, 5,000 subscribers, 5,000 commander status has finally been achieved. And uh, it's such an amazing honor, man, to finally, like hit that milestone this early i would say because i never thought i would ever get to that mark but the fact that like you know we got here in three years is just incredible man uh the support that i got from all of you guys you know people who have been with me since before i was even known in the community to hell someone like yesterday that probably joined up and everything and i just want to say thank you guys you know for supporting me throughout this entire thing you know i've had some great times i had some dark times stuff during this time with my channel but uh through and through, man, I wouldn't trade anything in the world for it. Had some amazing memories. I made great bonds and stuff. It's been glorious. Um, I haven't decided yet fully on what I want to do in terms of like an actual like uh, like a thank you video in terms of like what I want to do for 5K. If I'm gonna do like a Q and A, uh, the last time I did that I think it was for 1,000. And considering we had 4,000 more people uh, join up on this journey, it would be cool to get like more people like in their responses and seeing you know what they want to ask me that kind of stuff. I might do another top 10 video made for like manga or something else. I haven't decided fully yet on what idea, but again, let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions of what I should do. But uh, when I have that answer, I'll let you guys know. But let's get back into the episode now. Episode 6, Enhancements. All right. Look at my girl Yachi, man. Let me help. I mean, her man say, offering to help, I mean, as he should. As he should. Even though height-wise doesn't really make too much of a difference, even though I know Hinata's like slightly hot, taller, but... This whole past week, the team has been working on serves. 
Yukai Son wants them to confirm where they want their serves to go. Okay. Like, see what happens and where the ball falls and when they hit that location. So I guess like looking like basically from like the um like it's almost like what's let's say with like basketball and soccer like when you have like certain targets you're trying to hit like you're in those areas how exactly you have to anticipate them and everything. Okay. It's always tough too because again once it hits the netting like almost like with tennis you have no idea what's gonna happen after like if it's gonna keep on going more forward is gonna have some kind of backdrop to it you never know. Of course, man, Rolling Thunder. What you mean to not cut? Kinoshita goes up. Barely. Look at that. Okay. I thought I'd see this, but yo, to see now finally like animate these little things. Like, oh my god. He's not great with overhands. Then couldn't he have just dug the ball like usual? Jump floaters are hard to receive because they're unpredictable. The best way to counter them is to position yourself further forward and catch the ball with an overhand pass. There's a good chance that we'll be facing stronger opponents who can use jump floaters. If I speak, I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> I want to speak, but I can't. I'm going to stick to floaters. I think of those three, like in the back and stuff, right? I think Kinoshita is probably the one I'm the most interested in. Um, and just seeing, like, you know, how things for him. But obviously, if you're a manga reader, you know what's going on. But he's always one of the ones I wanted to see a lot more out of him. You know, because he's pumped up. I mean, he's got to be, man. He's got a lot to prove for himself. You see Kagem right there deep in thought. Yukai took a notice of that. Because he's noticing there's a different aura to his to his guys and stuff. And, oh, man. Yo, that's a good shot right there. Look at that. I didn't hit it as hard as I wanted. Is it going to be out? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I need the second course so bad. I need it so bad. If it's oh my god, there are times when he not the pulls off superhuman moves, but what he just did now actually seemed like he meant to do it. I wish I could speak, but I can't. Oh. Oh my, I want to say so much right now, man, but I'll be in trouble. What do you mean by I can jump higher? Come hit some fours with me. You guys are tired from the training camps, aren't you? No overworking yourselves. J just a little bit, please. Just a little. Yeah, that's funny. I love how like, he tells Suga, the Daichi's like to Suga, like, oh, you're his aunt, but like, here's like, here's, like your uncle or something, you know? There's a happy couple, man. Uh huh. But amazing jumps are like bomb. Basically, your job is to scuttle around. Don't say it like that. <laughs> so you sort of jump on a wind like boing boing. This is anything new, but he sucks at sound effects. <laughs> so far, they've been doing the trick, and I'm sure you're doing your best during matches. But I know that you can jump higher. When you jump, where do you put your weight? See, I, I I love it because of the fact that even though he's seen, even though he's seen what he saw and stuff with Hoshiyumi, he knows that because of the talent that Hinata possesses, he can achieve like greater heights. And the only person that can really do that for him is Kageyama. So, and of course, they're going at each other's throats. Freedom to react when you're in the air. When you make those jumps, you hear the sound of your feet kicking off the floor. You think they'll keep at it just a little? Looks like they'll start snowing any moment now. You actually believe they're just a little daichi. Their dedication is too real, man, because they know what's coming up. You just said they'd be done in just a little bit. I can get feeling like you're raring to go after training camp, but I prefer to take a little break afterwards. How much does that kind of love? How much does that kid love volleyball? But am I the only one who thinks that Kagem has had a scowl on his face ever since he came back? Oh. 
Oh my god. If, it, if the season ends on... Oh my god. It's like I want to rush myself to get more of this adapted now. But your jump's drifting again. <laughs> but all your weight on the balls of your feet. There's a huge difference when you're actually thinking about that. Of course, man. I love these two. Look at him. Sonic the Hedgehog style. Balls my feet. Concentrate on the momentum of the lead up. And then... Look at that. Look at that, my boy. Rise up. Jump. Goal. <laughs> yeah, this man... I'm scared if he has kids, bro. This guy's gonna be one of the most, like, strict fathers in the history of history, man. When it comes to parenting. Like... <laughs> They even had it too, like, come on. Ever since he came back from the training camp, there are times where Hinata gets super quiet. His focus, I think. That when Konagawa was setting for you, you were hitting at a higher spot. I'm jumping like I'm supposed to. Maybe I'm just imagining that. So right there, Kageyama, he knows you have what you have to do for him. And Yukai notices that too as well. I think those words that he heard back at the camp are starting to affect him. I mean, I technically heard about how the camp went, but how was it really? You know, is something bothering you? What do you think goody two shoes means? Yeah. Someone said that to you. Another setter of the camp said that to me. I shouldn't be surprised, but the camp definitely must have had some hard hitters. <laughs> Nothing beats a set that's easy for the spiker to hit. That's what that geezer always told us. I'm certain you're doing that. There's no, so there's no reason for you to hesitate. I should be here any minute. Oh man, the fact that we're gonna get majority of this though for the the rest of this core, that's crazy. I couldn't ask for better opponents. Not to mention, there's something I want to test out. And the arrival of those individuals, that team, they are here. The dark green and the white, that they tech. Look at that monster, bro, Odi. Bro, the iron wall, man. Like, the hype is real when it comes to Odi, man. That guy cemented himself as a legend after season one with a performance against Hinata, like, Absolute beast. Thanks. <laughs> like it has <laughs> The man was like, yo, I cannot wait. No lucky god. He's you for sure waiting he not to go get a And of course Suki walking away because like I'm not trying to acknowledge you. All the boys are pumped up today. The bow. Oh, wait. I just realized, too. Yo, if I get that this season. Oh, my. Mongers, you know what I was about to refer to right now. If, I, if we get that moment at the end of the season. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and of course, he has the look of fire on him. My boy turned into uh, McBurn uh, from Kaseki. Dr. Tech's blocking is definitely the best in the prefecture. Probably even on a national level. I heard they've gone even better since the spring tournament prelims. They definitely don't have enough time to get our blocking up to their level. Hope we don't have enough time to get their blocking up to their level. 
I mean, that just shows you, though, like, the amount of, like, people that have been trying to get to Nationals. And, like, some, like, big times. Like, Shiro Torizawa losing out on not being there, of course. They have a top three ace and everything. If Dante Tech, considered one of the best defensive teams in the game, it's, like, to not have them. Okay! Yo, that was actually sick! Yeah, the, the starting order, like, you would even see, like, in Tekken matches when they do it. The battle is on! Yo, okay, that is actually lit. And I love it, like, the formation stuff, Dante Kogio. Yo. And then now you see Fikarsuno, Samura, Azumane. See Nishinoya right there. Tanaka. You see Kageyama, of course. My Go Hinata. Suki right there. And you see the formation, how they're set up and stuff. That is actually lit. Like, it's literally lit because it has the flames of Gehenna right behind it, man. Like... Oh my god. For a practice match, do you understand how much God sus like greatness has to be inside of this series for them to hype up a practice match? Phenomenal. So they got the fake decoy right there and set up over to Azumane. Azumane comes from right up top. Look at that animation! And you see the wall dun 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 dun. But my boy. Look at that. Smash is right there. Not enough, man. Oh my god, dude. I'm telling you, bro, the iron wall, like, you need, like, like literal nuclear, like, bombs, man. They pretty much had three blockers. They all blocked. Talk about lightning fast reflexes. Absolute monsters, my god. Just like Tsukishima did during our matches with Shirto Izawa. Great blocks apply a lot of stress, not only to the spikers, but to the setters too. For Kageyama, this might be a, ma a much harsher game than the one against Shiro Torizawa. On a second college standpoint, I would believe so, because again, I've always said, I said it before, but in the, it's like a very defensive team. How do you crack the holes is the challenge, obviously, of course, when it comes to uh, Kageyama and them. He wanted to get through the high triple block on the first try. That brazen jerk. It looks like he tried a little too hard. Damn it. I was sure they were going to follow Hinata. Let's see. The way that Dante Tech jumps for their blocks is re-blocking. That's when they jump after seeing the set, right? In their formation, they use the bunch shift. Yeah, bunch is in bunch up. Block is bunch in the middle so they can move there. Literally, just think almost like if you're picking up grass and stuff, come up, combine together. That's how I usually refer to. But since they're bunched up in the middle, I already get down to the fast tax from either end of the court. Up until now, we and most of our opponents have used a spread shift. Spread means to spread out. See, I love how they do it like this. It really explains to you. So you, it nails it down exactly all these little details. Instead of just saying it to you and everything. Does a very good job with this, though. It sounds like the spread shift would have a higher probability of success. Because they're evenly spread out. Not to mention, too, the one-on-one -on -one matchup as well, right? Because you leave one opening and say you switch it up afterwards, then it causes a bit of an issue. They're pretty damn scary. Gonna break through the middle. Their goal is to always build multiple walls anywhere along the net. That's the bunch read blocking strategies. See, like, and they look connecting and stuff with the, um, with the iron wall itself. Yep. Yeah. They managed to get a finger on the very first one. See, even if they got that point, the fact of them just being able to touch it, that just it just tells you right there, man. Dante Tech, had they have been the ones to go through, a lot of teams would be struggling against them. Give it all you got. See my goat now this time. Sends it right over. Right to Aone. Tanaka makes the receive. I see that they're still insanely fast at scooping up the ball. Well, that's a major trademark, though, to them and everything. 
But now, he feels the Titans underneath. Is the excitement coming through? Since I up the other way. And they got blocked right there, bro. But look at how close, though, from where Hinata was trying to make the receive. Even then, it was way too fast, though. They moved to the side so fast. Not to mention two of them bunched up so fast. Oh, man. Just love how the anime is really depicting these moments here. And the choice of music, too, as well. It was like really building up to something big, even though like the big moments are kind of sort of happening right now, though. I thought an attack from the Bray was our best bet. Setting aside if that was actually the best decision or not. The pressure I felt just now definitely affected my actions, even if just for a little. Just now, Date text blocks actually made me choose anything but the middle. Even watching as an amateur, Dante Dex blocks are terrifying. Blockers and setters continue battling even before and after the attack. It's a battle to see who can apply the most pressure. You just see the sweat come down, man. And then, of course, when you look at it from like someone like Atsumu, who's able to hold his own, Kamoi, Oshimi, and of course with uh, Sakaza, man. Their composure is just crazy. And like, how do you ask yourself, am I going to be able to make something of it? And then look at the monsters that are there. Look at them. Look at Sakura in the back. <laughs> Playing a strong team feels so good. It's 10 to 7 right now in the first set. Oh, man. Because he's faced off against monsters, he has to realize, too, that he's got to still face some of them. Along the way. How do I become the monster? You step over the line. Shout out to Ippo. Goes Azumane. It's looking good. Here he comes. And nothing. Oh my god. I guess Carson does have a blocker. Suki, he made a name for himself though after um after the Shirt Torzawa matchup. So and of course you go and hit him with that. Whatever. I see Nishinoya come in. Rolling Thunder. There's the roll. Get that roll in. There he is. You can't call it rolling thunder without the roll, man. You're in the way. And everyone's freaking out like, huh? I can't believe that's how you want to end the episode on. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, you had to end it one way or another, but... It had to be done some way, man. Okay, let me just go down to where the preview, because I want to see... Uh, What's up for now afterwards? Okay, 23.45. Let's see the previous. I have an idea what's going to transpire, man, for the next episode. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> when you see it with that start off, episode 7 returned. Oh, my God. Yo, that episode hit, man. Like, definitely, you know, explanations to the actual, like, getting to see the match go down right now of this practice game between uh, Karasuno and um, and Date Tech. But, man. And then, of course, you know, just getting to see that, you know, the vibes and stuff right now, they're both, well, technically three people, really. You know, it's uh, Kageyama and uh, Tsukushima, what they're feeling at the moment, you know. he With Kageyama, it's like coming back, you know, he has a scowl look on him, but he realizes, you know, that comment... That Asumu threw at him with the great two shoes thing, man. It really started to get on him and everything. And now he's trying to see, you know, how can I be able to do for my team, make them better so they can get this dub. And then from Hinata, from Yachi's point of view, he's saying, you know, she's saying, like, oh, he's a little super quiet and everything. But you know what? My boy's taking in the information. He's learning as he's going through. 
right? The best way a boy's going to learn is that they're actually, you know, being able to partake in it. They get to witness it by being in that game. He does that. And then Suki, of course, you know, with him and his blocking, you know, it's just really the fundamentals. Narrow it down. He's going to be out here, man. But that little thing right there with uh, Nishinoya and Kageyama. Because <sighs> it gets ready to set up some more heat, though, for uh, the rest of this core. But this was a very good episode. Animation, I felt, was nice. Uh, OST selections for certain scenes also did really well. And, of course, um, just overall, man, really great episode. This core has been hitting for me. Been loving it so far. But I know that uh, the real, real greatness, man, of this part of season four is yet to come. And realistically, you know, when we get to the second core in July, uh, that's the part where it's going to get really exciting from there. But right now, this whole thing has been beautiful. It's going to be us to like, you know, a demonstration and, you know, a visualization of what right now, Car you know, Carson was going through in order to prepare themselves for what's to come, you know, with the Nationals. You know, again, these practice matches against, you know, po um, opponents that they faced off against. The likes of, you know, Dante Tech and everything is going to give them that kind of, you know, extra motivation and preparation that they're going to need for the battles that come in July because <sighs> if I speak, I'm in trouble, man. But great episode this week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to Haikyuu Season 4 to the top, Episode 6. Let me know, uh, manga readers, how you guys been enjoying the adaptation, of course. And uh, in regards to, like, the episode itself, how did you guys feel about it? Did you enjoy it the same way I did? If there's anything else you want to clarify for me down in the comments uh, in regards to certain stuff and by any means, uh, feel free to do so. Like the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of the Haikyuu anime on the Fridays and on the manga on Sunday mornings, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandora see so you have the date with everything that goes on the channel. With that being said, I will catch you guys on Sunday for chapter 383 of the manga. And then I'll be here next Friday for episode 7 of To The Top. For the haiku haiku so commodore last signing off thank you so much for watching and as always take care going crazy, yeah, we going crazy.